Alright guys, so I got another video for you today. We're going to be looking at this sound in Serum. Uh, if you like it, cool, stick around. If you don't, then I guess you don't like it. Don't stick around. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into this. So if we go in Serum, uh, I have the square wave thing. And this will be in the description. But yes, let's get right into this. So once you have this waveform, what you're going to do is... LFO 1 is going to uh, modulate the wavetable position of this square wave thing. And you're going to want to copy this right here. Um, you know, just get it like freaking... Yeah, just do that. Next thing we're doing is we're going to enable noise, actually. And it's going to be in organics, and it's going to be H breath. And the level... What is the level modulated by? Is LFO 2. And now this is just a, a straight, kind of just straight down thing in a jiggy blib. So yeah, uh, just bring it up here, bring it up to 24% on the level, uh, and then the pitch will be 33% or 33. Right. And the sub, I actually, I have it EQ'd out, the sub, so you don't even need the sub. Don't even bother. Don't even bother with the sad. Um, next, we're gonna look at the comb filter over here. So you go in filters, flanges, comb HL6, uh, and then you're gonna want to turn the cutoff to 205 hertz. Resonance all the way up. This dude right here. 20. Wait. 20, yeah. 29%. Drive. 28%. Mix. 82%. Uh, you're gonna want to enable it on. A, B, and no N for noise. Actually, you don't need B because it's not even turned on. Holy crap. Uh, so, yeah, I could just do that, but it doesn't matter. So, that's pretty much all you got to do for this. Actually, you can also bring the pitch up 12 and down 12, just so you can get a pitch bend going if you need. If you want to do that stuff, now in the FX, we're going to turn on a hyper. Uh, you're going to want to copy the settings. Rate is 16, D2, and 25, mix. Uh, 15 size on the dimension is 20 mix is 15 then we're going to filter it's a reverb filter the cutoff is going to be 54 resonance uh, 49 drive 0 and then that does nothing and then the mix is going to be 35 now a compressor we're going to turn it to multiband compressor threshold is negative 15.9 ratio is 1.7 to 1 uh, attack is 52.8 milliseconds, release is 632.5 milliseconds, gain is 9.4 decibels. No, oh, shit. Yeah. Um, frequency on the EQ, 118. The Q is 72%. The gain, negative 24.0 decibels. And it's one of these table tables here. And now, for the second, for the highs, you're going to also choose a table frequency is at 2041 hertz q is at 28 gain is 2.7 decibels now for the phaser turn on phaser make sure the mix 74 percent the rate's going to be off turn to bpm depth zero frequency 20 hertz uh feed zero fades 180 now for the last thing is reverb mix leave it on zero uh for now but i th believe it's modulated what's it modulated by that's it Okay, so envelope one, you're going to want to uh, bring the attack to 0 0.5, hold on 0, decay in one second, sustain at 0 decibels, and then the release of 15. So basically what's going on here is while the sound is playing, there's reverb, but then as soon as you let off the sound, there's no reverb. Uh, so yep, size, 9%, pre-delay, 4%. Low cut, 0%. High cut, 50%. Damp, 28%. With 96%. Alright, yeah. Um, and that's everything. Now we're going to look at the compressor, EQ, and hopefully you have sausage fattener. Because if you don't, you should probably get it somehow. 
I'm not going to say torrent it, but yeah, probably do that. Um, anyway, without the compressor, it sounds like this. With the compressor, it sounds like this. Just a little bit louder and a little bit fatter with a pH. Um, now the EQ, basically, I'm just lowering the mids a little, boosting the highs a little, then cu bleh, cutting the uh, the sub frequencies. And now, oh, I'm yawning. Oh, fuck. Um, and now the sauce fattener. It sounds like this. So yeah, that's the final sound, guys. I'll play it in context for you now, if you're interested. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.